Good morning, everyone. So I hope you have gone through the theorem 6.1. So today we are going to discuss theorem 6.2. So before starting, let me just remind you, you know, theorem 6.1. The theorem 6.1, if a triangle is drawn and the line is divided, you know, DE parallel to BC, then the sides are in the same ratio. That means AD by DB equal to AE by EC. This is known as basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. That day we have already learned, you know, in details about how to, you know, prove those theorems. The theorem is basically called as basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. Today we are going to discuss theorem 6.2. What does theorem 6.2 says? If a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line E is parallel to third side. If you observe this theorem, this is just the you know, reverse of theorem 6.1. Theorem 6.1 says, if a line is there which is parallel, then it divides it in the same ratio. You know, the sides are in the same ratio. But now it is said, the line divides the two sides. ABC is a triangle. D is the line. This divides the two sides in the same ratio. Then we need to prove DE parallel to BC. So basically, this is the converse of Thales theorem. So now, what is given? We will write it. ABC triangle ABC. And a line D intersecting AB at D and SC at E. So this is ABC is a triangle, D and E are the two midpoints or two lag points which is intersecting AB and SC. To prove DE pair to BC, we need to prove. But we have given something, they are in the same ratio. AD by DB equal to AE by EC. This is given. Construction. Draw D E has parallel to B C. D E has parallel to B C. We are assuming or we are considering this to be D E has this is parallel to B C. So find it here. Now proof will start it. Since D E has parallel to B C, we are considering from the construction A D by D B equal to A E has by E has C. This is by Thales theorem. Since A D E has D E has square to this, then A D by D B equal to A E has by E has C. This is fine. And what is given here? Already we have given A D by D B equal to A E by E C. This is also given. Now from equations 1 and equation 2, we could see A D by D B, A D by D B. So since left hand side are equal, the right hand side also should be equal. I hope till here it is fine. Then adding one on both sides of this, we see a e has by e has plus one, a e by e c plus one. Why plus one is added? So that we can get overall descriptions of the triangle. I'm repeating again. Why plus one is added here? So that you can get the whole line segment. You know the bigger line segment, a b and s c. LCM we have taken. Now A E has plus E has C. A E has plus E has C is nothing but S C. This is fine. Denominator is same. Similarly, A E by E C plus E C. We got S C S. S C S C cancel. One by E has C. One by E has C. Now we can reciprocal. We got E has C equal to E C. That means. E has C, E has C equal to E C. That means E and E has coincide. That means the point E and E has are the same point. That's why these two line segments are same. E and E has are coincide means they lie on the same line. Therefore, or not same line, they are the same point. E has and E are the same point. That's why D E has spell. Since D E has parallel to B C, parallel to B C, we have taken here. 
therefore instead of d it has you can write d equal to bc as well this is the same thing fine instead of it has we are putting it e here d it has equal to bc and proof and this theorem that we have discussing now is called converse of thales theorem the first theorem is basic proportionality theorem or thales theorem the second we are discuss here is converse of thales theorem so i hope everyone is clear with it please you know go through the solutions the proof that we have given here i would request you to please write all these solutions all these proof from this video itself because in the textbook it's not completely you know proof properly thank you